Hello, this is an Astroneer tutorial on how to automate scrap production. With the Automation 2 update, uh, there are some changes to, to how you can automate soil to scrap production. So this is a redo of the video going over how to automate soil to scrap production. Uh, the first thing is that while you can fully automate soil to scrap production, it requires zinc and isn't very efficient. Let's, let's start with how to, how to automate scrap production. So we, first you have your incoming resource that gets smelted, um, and then you're gonna print something. Uh, in this case, we have button repeaters that are going to be shredded. Um, you can also do this with extenders, um, power switches, any of the, the repeaters as well work fine with this. Um, and this is your main pipeline is uh, printing, printing objects and shredding them. Um, so where you get soil involved in this is right now we have zinc over here. It's being smelted on this furnace and put over here. And we have a, we have a small printer printing storage sensors. So this is using quartz and zinc. You can also print battery sensors, which is using graphite and zinc. And what you're going to be doing is your soil centrifuge is going to be generating uh, quartz continuously. We have our um, storage, si storage silo for our soil over here, which is going to fill up our soil centrifuge, which is set to repeat. And it's going to print a bunch of quartz, which is then going to allow the small printer to uh, print a bunch a bunch of storage sensors uh, to be shredded. So, oh, there it goes. Oh, not set to repeat. All right, set to repeat. So this is just going to print a bunch of storage sensors that are going to be shredded. Uh, this isn't very efficient because the soil centrifuge only gives you four quarts per two canisters of soil which equates to half a scrap per soil canister. Uh, graphite is even worse, which gives you a quarter of a scrap per canister, just because the soil centrifuge only makes two graphite per two uh, soil canisters. So this will go forever as long as you have zinc and as long as you have soil. There are much more efficient ways to automate soil to scrap, but they are not fully automatic. So here we have resin to resin to medium storages that uh, gives you one scrap per canister of soil. Let's start this up. What we have is our our um, soil input slot over here. We have two soil centrifuges creating resin um, storage for the soil centrifuge fuses. And we have two um, small printers printing medium storages set to repeat. So this will just run and print out a big pile of medium storages that you can come over here, open them up, and shred them. So this, this is um, a very fast method because you have two soil centrifuges and two printers. You get a lot of medium storages very quickly but again it's only one one scrap per canister of uh, soil the next step up from that is using clay turned into ceramic so we have our input for soil we have our soil centrifuge set to repeat generating clay we have a smelting furnace that's turning the clay into ceramic we have storage for ceramic and we have this um, auto arm here to pull off that. So the reason we have this is if I stand right here, it will put it into my inventory and fill up my inventory. Because we're gonna be making drill mod ones, um, this is from the backpack printer, this is where your bottleneck's gonna be. So if I print a drill mod, my backpack is full, so it'll drop to the ground and that, that auto arm right there will uh, pick it up and it can be shredded. And so I can sit here uh, all day 
basically printing drill mods and the auto arm will put a new ceramic in my backpack and uh, the other auto arm will pick it up. So this is a, a, a good way to automate ceramic to scrap and with ceramic to scrap you get one, 1 1.5 scrap per canister of soil. Uh, the final way is the most efficient, most efficient, but also the most complicated. So what we have here is we have a soil centrifuge uh, creating resin, one a soil centrifuge creating organic, and a chemistry lab turning that organic and resin into rubber. We then have an auto arm putting it on the next platform, which has a small printer set to print winches. So winches are the most uh, uh, efficient way to generate scrap as they generate two scrap per soil canister. So the other side of this equation is, you saw with the winch, you need rubber and tungsten. So what we're doing is we're taking excess scrap off of the, uh, uh, the, the scrapped winches and we are using the trade platform to get more wolframite, which is then taken off by this auto arm um, and smelted down to generate our tungsten, which we can then print out winches. So all of this, it takes four canisters of soil to generate eight rubber, and then it also takes 12 scrap to get the uh, eight wolframite to turn all that into, into winches, which then can be scrapped. Uh, eight winches can be scrapped for 20 scrap but we need to put 12 back into the system to buy mo more wolframite. So, fully automating that. So here is an updated for automation, the Automation 2 update, as close to fully automatic as, and as most efficient way to automate scrap production as I could make. Uh, we have the same basic setup that I just talked about with the soil centrifuges and the chemistry lab creating rubber and uh, the uh, small printer printing winches. Um, this, is, uh, this setup speeds it up a lot. So we have two um, trade platforms and two smelting furnaces, but the basic concept is the same. Um, because we need 12 scrap and four canisters of soil to start off uh, to create eight winches, um, what I've done is I've set it up so that the system will only start when it has 12 scrap and four soil canisters. So here we have a setup that this would be your input, input platform for soil. Um, we have an auto arm that picks up the full soil canisters and puts them on this platform here. We have this sensor which goes to an AND gate, but basically it's detecting when we have a full four four canisters of soil on there and this auto arm is putting it into our system to be used by the soil centrifuge. Um, this auto arm is set up to take the empty canisters and put them back on, on our input platform so they can be filled up with soil again. So this gives us a, a, a continuous, we'll, o we'll only start the system when we have uh, four canisters of soil. On the other side over here, so this is where we the, the shredders output our scrap. We have this auto arm that pulls off our scrap onto these two tall platforms. Basically, each of these platforms contain uh, six slots, which is the amount of scrap you need to trade for four wolframite. So we have two of those, and because eight winches gives you a total of 20 scrap and you only need to put 12 scrap back into the system, we have this setup which is um, pulling off that extra eight scrap to be actually put in a large canister to be used for later. Um, the reason that there's two auto arms on the other side of this is because once the system starts up, um, it's gonna pull these six, six scrap off and start up the system again. And uh, we wanna pull these eight scrap off in in that amount of time. So that's why there's two auto arms there. So once once everything triggers, we have uh, this setup, which ensures that basically we have we, we have both four four soil canisters and 12 scrap set up. 
Um, this is just an, an AND gate for both of the six platforms to ensure that we have a uh, uh, 12 total and then it triggers this for the, the 12 total which uh, starts off our system. It switches all the auto arms around. So instead of filling up, we are dispensing our, um, uh, our soil uh, and our scrap into the system. So we're gonna just run this real quick. Um, oh, uh, and then, so once, once it's printed winches, it, this auto arm picks up the winches and put them on this storage. And then I have this kind of setup of auto arms with uh, uh, sensors, empty, not empty sensors, to put one winch on each of these platforms. So I can just go along and open them up. And so let's start scrapping them and we can see this in action. All right, so the, 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 the tray platforms were mostly full, so we're gonna see one scrap come off in just a second. There we go, it's almost full. And one more, oh, sorry. There we go, all right, so we have our, our soil loading over there. We have our, um, our trade platforms loading with the scrap. Uh, our, our soil centrifuges are starting up. They're producing uh, uh, organic and resin. There goes the trade platforms. While that's happening, I'm just gonna keep this moving along and load some more winches. So loading more winches, getting more scrap. All right, oh, you can see over there, it's pulling off the excess scrap. We're producing rubber, which is going on here. Once that, uh, once the trade platform comes back and hands us our wolframite, um, we can start uh, producing winches, there we go. Come back down, we're pulling off our wolframite. So we're almost done with the uh, scrap. Let's do that. Oh, we're printing, printing winches. go okay so over here we are um, smelting our wolframite into tungsten and building winches and putting them back on the platforms so this is the full setup um, you can pretty much sit here and scrap winches all day um, and uh, until your soil runs out uh, it'll keep going and going and going so this is the most efficient but also the most complex way to turn soil into scrap. That is it. If you like this video, please subscribe and thanks for watching.